To control a read and write state of the memory of your QD Pi requires some additional code and also a little bit of wiring that involves soldering. So let's walk through what is required. The way that we determine the state is through using a switch. And to understand how this works, let's talk a little bit about how pull-up resistors work. There is a digital input, which is called A0, and that input is capable of detecting the voltage that is appearing on it. So what we want to do is to cause the voltage to be high, like 3 volts, and that's interpreted as a logical true value. Or to have the value be at ground, or 0 volts, that's considered a logical false value. We can do that by using what's known as an internal pull-up resistor. So we have a reasonably high resistance resistor here, about 10,000 ohms. And when the switch is disconnected, the voltage that's on the input line is 3 volts because it's pulled up to that value by being connected through this resistor. And the value that will be reported to the input is true. On the other hand, if we close the switch, we make a direct connection to the ground. That's going to cause the voltage on this side of the resistor to drop down to zero, and the reported value will be false. In order to enable this, we actually have to do some soldering here. So here I have soldered to a single pole, single throw switch, one end of the switch to the ground pad on the board, and the other one to the A0, D0 pad. Then, in order to be able to make use of the state of the switch, we have to modify another special Python file known as boot.py. Boot.py is executed when the board is powered up, or if you do a hard reset by pushing the reset button, which, as I said earlier, is essentially like turning it off and turning it back on again. The boot.py script does not run if you do a soft reset from the serial console. Now, the key thing here is that the boot.py script gets run before the code.py script. So it's going to get run first, and then code.py will run. Here is how I can write a boot.py script that will determine the read or write state. I have to set the mode of that A0D0 pin, the one that I soldered the wire onto, by creating a digital I.O. object, which I'm going to call switch. And here I've designated that that should be the connection D0. Once I've done that, then I set the direction of input and output to input. And in this command, I tell the internal resistor to be in the pull-up mode so that when the switch is open, it is at 3 volts. Once I've created the switch object and set its characteristics, I'm able to read the value attribute of the switch, and that's going to tell me whether the input pad is at 3 volts or at 0 volts or ground. If it's at 3 volts, then switch.value is going to return true, and in that case, the storage.remount command sets it to read only. If the switch is closed and the value is at ground, then it will return a value of false, and then CircuitPython will be able to write. So I can control whether the QtPy 2040 boots into read-only mode by simply flipping the switch one way or the other prior to booting it up.